A lot going on in Washington, certainly with the end of the shutdown. What's interesting about what happened is we might have seen a defining moment, really, for freshman Senator Kelly Ayotte, the Republican from Nashua, first term, uh, who's pretty much walked in the, not doctrinaire uh, conservative circles, but certainly and done very much what the leadership has wanted her to do during her um, her first three plus years in office, and I think uh, her role in um, bringing an end to the shutdown and an approval of raising the debt ceiling, I think gave her the, one of her first opportunities to break out from that um, very conservative profile she had in the 2010 campaign. Um, it's something she really needs to do, frankly, um, to cement her re-election in 2016. Uh, because at the end of the day, um, people in New Hampshire want someone who can work with both parties, who has a record of accomplishment in terms of reaching across the aisle and getting things done. And I think her involvement in this so-called group of 14 bipartisan senators, Democrat Sheen Shaheen from New Hampshire was also in this group. I think allowed her to um, kind of move beyond uh, the party talking points. And, um, and it helps her develop a reputation down on Capitol Hill as someone who sort of tells it like it is instead of just toes what the leaders want her to say. Um, and she certainly took on um, Ted Cruz and other conservative Republicans who wanted to make this fight a referendum on Obamacare. It's kind of ironic since Kelly Ayotte campaigned heavily on repealing Obamacare and I suspect will continue to vote to repeal it and replace it uh, with market-based vote to repeal it and replace it uh, with market-based decision to essentially starting with a private caucus of Republican senators about two weeks ago in which she essentially said this strategy by Cruz to link Obamacare to the shutdown was a loser from the very beginning and there was no end game victory that could have been achieved. She proved to be right certainly and and I think going forward um, what would be interesting to see is whether she takes from this whole experience um, a desire to work even more with Democrats on like-minded ideas, certainly Jean Shaheen, a centrist Democrat, is someone she could work with. Um, an interesting dynamic, and particularly an important one, as she's up for re-election in 2016, which really isn't that far away. It's Kevin Landrigan at NationalTelegraph.com.